All right, everybody. This is just going to be a quick video today for all of those who are affected by the effect, for the people who are suffering from reality shifts, those who are victims of CERN's mind control experiments, you may want to watch this video because I'm going to be introducing this effect that I've known about for a while. This particular one, I noticed nobody else has made a video about it yet. So here we go. It's Pantene, this specific brand of shampoo that once appeared with an accent above the E. As it is displayed on the screen before you is how I remember it. And if you remember the same way as I do, well then, you would be wrong. Because apparently, it's never had the accent. This dash above the E right here is confabulation. Somehow, it's all been a cognitive illusion. And it's just a coincidence that we all are misremembering the exact same details about the exact same things. Because according to documented history, it has always looked like this without the accent above the E. Now maybe you're one of the people who use this product on a daily basis. Maybe you specifically remember reading the word Pantene from right off of the bottle and you paid extra special close attention to the accent above the E. Well, if that's you, well, you just imagined it because it never has existed. This lie on the screen is supposed to reflect our documented past. This is supposed to be recorded in history to reflect what it was that we all saw. But I know that it's changed because there was an accent above the E and now it's not. So this of course is just another attack on our sanity, another violation They've yet ripped away another memory from us. When will it stop? Those mad scientists at CERN over there playing God, tampering around with our reality, altering history, erasing people's memories without our permission. This violation, this attack on us just continues. Only by the work of the devil himself could something like this be done? This is by the hand of the Antichrist, probably one of the worst things to ever happen in history next to the fall of Adam and Eve. And when will it stop? I mean, look at what they've done to us now. This is ridiculous. I will not stand for it. Why would they go and do this to shampoo? I'll never be able to wash my hair in the same way. I'll never have the same experience of using Pantene shampoo. And what did shampoo ever do to anyone? Nothing. I mean, sure, it has chemicals that disrupt our hormones. They use animal, animal testing to make these products and put these toxins into the ocean and kill dolphins. But other than that, shampoo has been good to us. I mean, look at this woman's hair. Look how shiny it is. It has bounce. And now they've gone and changed the name. Well, it's never going to be stopped. They're just going to continue. Erasing our history, messing around with our memories, trying to control our minds. I even looked up old Pantene shampoo bottles, and it's nowhere on the bottle, no matter how old it is. Now, of course, if you remember it was on the bottle, well, then it's a, it's a fault within yourself. That's right. It's an imperfection in your perception. It's your fallible memory that's playing tricks on you. You're the one who's wrong. According to CERN's new modern history, this lie that is being projected on the screen in front of us, we're supposed to believe it? If they can tamper around with reality and change people's memories, when? When is it going to affect you personally? When are they going to rip more memories away from us? How would you feel then if you woke up and not even know how your name was once spelled? You might even have a loved one that you forget about. Because they want to play God at CERN. This is horrible. 
This is a terrible thing that they've done to us. They want to be your god. They want to control your mind. If they're successful, you will be a zombie if you cannot hold on to your memories. And they're going to continue to do this to us. Here's a commercial from the 1980s. And on a side note, the 80s, it used to have an apostrophe next to the S. And now that's improper. Another attack on our sanity. Maybe you are taking some kind of a test for school. Possibly you're working at a job and your employment depends on you properly writing dates or spelling words like dilemma or definitely or banana. And even though you put your hard work, time and effort in learning how to spell those words, you are the one who would be considered illiterate and unable to spell. Because now it is no longer proper to use an apostrophe after the S. You see how they're messing around with our reality, taking away from us what once was ours? So I'll play this commercial. It's the hit phrase, don't hate me because I'm beautiful. Don't hate me because I'm beautiful. And look at who we have here. This is the actress from um, Weird Science. Weird Science. And after I saw this movie, I would put a brawl on my head and feed magazine pictures to my computer just hoping that it would produce a woman. And I never got that either. Just another disappointment. Here we have the movie clip. We'll just play the first part here. I know it's a lie. Okay, I had the doll. I had the voodoo doll. I hooked up the electrodes. I, I lit the candles. I, I chanted. I wore the bras on my head. And I never got a woman. I mean, this is just ridiculous. Let's go back to this ad now. Here we go. Let's just skip ahead. Even with everything I put my head through, And there it is, the word Pantene. Something missing? Does something look off about this? Well, it doesn't have the accent over the E. All the way back in commercials from the 80s. So not only did I not get an English-speaking woman sex goddess when I chanted with a brawl in my head, but now I can't even go back and look at the commercial and see it and appreciate it for the way that I remember it. You know, they're just going to continue to do this to us. They're going to continue to do this. They might rip loved ones away from you. They might change your name, change your very essence in life. Take the meaning away. Turn you into a robot or a zombie. And people don't take this seriously. I mean, you would say that I'm imagining things. Here in the 19... I mean, pre-1980s ad, you can see that there is, in fact, an accent over the E. And what are the chances that I would be remembering that and then find a picture that reflects this exactly as I remember it. Of course, Locopedia will tell you that only from 1947 to 86 did it have that, which is, I wasn't even born in 1947. So I'm not gonna be remembering something. I'm gonna be looking at these where there's clearly no accent over the E and it was definitely there before. I'm pissed off. If everybody is offended by this, as I am, if you have been offended by shampoo now, I mean, I'll have nightmares about this. I'll have nightmares about Pantene. I mean, look at this. Laurel got to keep the accent over the E, and yet they couldn't just leave Pantene alone? I mean, why? Look at this on the screen here. Now, this is L'Oreal. How do I know to pronounce it L'Oreal? Well, because it tells me what the accent. I would call this Laura real Laura Laura real Laura real that's what I mean how are we ever gonna be able to pronounce Pantene without the accent I mean this is just totally ridiculous I mean look at these two guys they got the right ideal this is just like what CERN did right let's see what their results here If you're gonna tamper with reality, why not do something useful? Like, like this, make a hot chick. A sex goddess. You see there? Do something like that. But don't go messing around with shampoo. I'm never gonna wear a bra on my head again. I'm never gonna do it. This is just crushed my childhood 
memories. Well, feel free to thumb this video up if you remember it the way that I do. Or leave a comment if you happen to have any reality residue. Or if you're personally offended by the fact that you never got a sex goddess either. That's all I asked for. I'll see you guys next time. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully there will be more to come.